Hello, Snackers. This is Kareem Iskander. I'm a lead technical advocate with Cisco Learning and Certifications. Hey, everyone. I'm Matt Napoli. I'm a manager of developer advocacy with Cisco DevNet. Welcome to episode 113 of Snack Minute. Snack Minute is your weekly 10-minute bite of learning, coding, APIs, and just some cool stuff we want you to know about. The thing that we want you to know about today is uh, Cisco Enterprise Multi-Cloud Training that mm. we are gonna, we're working on. Uh, with um, our returning guest, Patrick. Uh, Patrick, do you mind introducing yourself? Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm super happy to be back. Uh, my name is Patrick Gargano. I'm a content developer with uh, Technical Education, which is part of Learning and Certifications. And I'm part of the bigger team that's responsible for all the enterprise service provider and DevNet courses and course content that we create for Cisco U and for ILT delivery as well. You guys already did some videos uh, about the new multi-cloud certs and not just the one I want to talk about today. So I want to talk about ENCC. Um, there's a couple of other ones that are out too, and, and the links will be in the description of the video here. Obviously, uh, Joe and David Bumble did one um, while they were at Cisco Live. I think I've got a screenshot there, and there they are, um, talking about <laughs> all of the cloud certs. Um, and then you guys met with Parr and Joe again and talked again about all of them and, and the, the, I guess the philosophy or the, the idea behind these new uh, concentrations. And then as I was trolling through YouTube, I found Hank. Um, Hank was on Cables to Clouds, uh, I don't know, a few months ago, it looks like, talking about the new cloud certs as well. So everyone's talking about this. It's super exciting. Everyone's excited about it. It was huge buzz at Cisco Live. Um, and I wanted to come on to not just talk about the blueprint, but what I'm really excited about, which is the actual course, the training that we're creating um, for people to get ready for this exam. So this is the web page on the Learning uh, Network website uh, where the, you know, all the blueprints are. And I'm not going to read this all out to you, but I just want to kind of open them up so you can quickly have a look. So that first um, topic in the blueprint, 15%. You can see it's all described topics and it's basically setting the scene. Yeah? So what are the different ways that we can connect? What are the different types of cloud services that are out there? And you can kind of see there's already a focus right away between two types of connectivity, either an IPsec one or an SD-WAN based one. But then we look at you know, public connectivity, we look at private connectivity, and then we finish that, that item, if you like, with some, some focus on SaaS. And that's about 15% of the exam, right? Then we get into that design thing I was talking about earlier. So, I, you know, it's in the title of the exam. So there has to be something about design. It's 15% of the exam as well. And notice the verb that's being used here, right? So it's all about what you would recommend if you were designing a solution that does X, Y, Z, right? So it's all recommending things. You can see here, we're recommending things about, you know, redundancy, high availability, bandwidth provisioning. We're looking also at compliance, you know, different ways that um, you know, countries and regulatory bodies will implement compliance for connecting to the cloud and privacy. We're looking at also the architecture that, that needs to be put in place in terms of focusing on QoS, as I said, multi-homing, bandwidth issues as well. And then finally, looking at policies. How would you design the policies for east-west or north-south traffic, um, policies for security? So, so that's all part of that 15% that for design. Is there... You know, from from looking at this blueprint, is there an expectation that I'm supposed to know every cloud provider in order for me to accomplish 2.4, for instance? Like the way that AWS does it is different than the way that Azure does it and different than GCP does it. So what is that expectation? That's a big challenge for, for the learner and obviously for us as, as content providers as well. When they were working, when we were working on actually creating the blueprint, those were the three that were focused on. and. And those are the three that people should feel familiar and comfortable with actually deploying into. So spinning up you know, a, a Cisco a virtual router in AWS, Microsoft Azure, and GCP. And I know, listen, you know, yes, there, there are three different companies, three different platforms. At the end of the day, it's, it's doing very, very similar things. The language is sure. a little bit different, but um, it is important. And then we're gonna get to that, I think in item three and item four, that people actually do get some experience to see what that, that process is. And that's the experience they're gonna get in our labs as well, um, Kareem. So someone who takes uh, you know, the official ENCC course from a Cisco uh, learning partner or does it on Cisco U, they'll be able to um, use our, our built-in labs or hands-on labs to actually practice these skills. So okay. that's, and that's the challenge for us, like I was saying, having to build out this different infrastructure for the labs. 
The, the next two, very, very quickly, you can see it's worth 50% of the exam, right? So 25% uh, for item three and 25% for item four. This is where you actually start to do stuff. So it's all about, you can see the verb that's being used here, configured. So item three is all about using IPsec connectivity to these cloud providers. And again, to come back to what you were saying, Karin, you can see it's constantly being repeated here, AWS, Azure, GCP, and again, and again. So that, that item number three is all about establishing that IPsec connectivity. And then you can see afterwards establishing, you know, routing uh, and peering, you know, BGP or OSPF neighbors in, in the cloud as well. So that's, that's number three. And then number four, again, 25%, it's all about configuring. This time it's all about SD-WAN. Again, we're looking at those three cloud providers. Uh, and then we're looking a little bit more at a couple of more specific SD-WAN things, like how SaaS is deployed in, in, in SD-WAN, and then how the policies are actually deployed as well um, with SD-WAN. And well, the last one is, I call it the troubleshooting item. So it's all about diagnostic, fixing, managing, troubleshooting different issues that could arise from this type of connectivity. So either IPsec connectivity, SD-WAN connectivity, uh, routing issues with your BGP and your SPF between your on-prem and your cloud-based routers. And again, maybe some issues relating to how routing is actually happening, how your security is happening, um, how the applications are being processed. Now, one of the things that was interesting also with this training is that there were five items in the blueprint, and a lot of our training is, is built around a five-day model for our learning partner delivery. So what's nice here is that we're actually creating a course that maps nicely with the blueprint in the sense that the blueprint had those five items, and here you can see we've got different tracks for those different items as well. So that maps to the, 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 the idea that when we create content, we typically try to create content for a five-day you know, learning uh, in class with a learning partner. And then, as I said, we'll, we'll break that up into a learning path and different tracks for Cisco U as well for, for e-learning. So again, just to give you a little, a little bit of a teaser. So track one, if you remember what that first item one, it was, it was all about describing how the public cloud operates, how to connect to it through internet, how to connect to it through uh, private connectivity, and then focused on SaaS as well. So that'll be that, that first track. And we'll have a lab at the end of that first track as well, just to, to kind of start getting the, the ball rolling with, uh, with your hands-on learning. Then track two kind of maps to that item two in the blueprint. It was the design item. And so it's all about designing and, and looking at how you would design those policies, the routing, um, and making sure that your uh, regulatory uh, requirements are, are, are met as well. And you'll notice at the bottom there, we've got an item that, that it says case study. And this is something that we came up with because for those of you that are familiar with our design course, ENSLD, you know that that course doesn't have you know, it's not routers and switch labs, it's actually design labs, you know, where you actually start mapping out and working out a design for, for an enterprise. And so we, we thought we would do something similar here. So we're going to have a case study uh, at the end of track two where um, people will be able to actually start looking at designing that type of connectivity to AWS or GCP or Microsoft Azure and all the policies and, and the, the, the different applications that would run through, through, those, uh, through those connections. And then three and four was that big chunk, right? That about 50% of the blueprint. So three was all about IPsec connectivity to the public cloud. So that, that first big box is that, you know, breaking down how that happens, how you would deploy that IPsec connection to um, through those cloud providers. And then the second one is deploying BGP and OSPF across those links as well. Track four is the SD-WAN chunk of content. So again, here we're looking at how SD-WAN establishes its connections through you know, using, uh, using the cloud on-ramp for multi-cloud. And then you can see there's labs kind of peppered everywhere towards the end there. Uh, we've got some security stuff and some policy stuff as well there in, in SD-WAN. Should we be expecting when we're doing this, uh, first of all, it's, it's awesome that we have labs, right? Like the labs are probably one of yeah. the selling point for me in this in this training because putting it all together is just it's just it's it's an overhead now when i when i do these labs am i going to be actually getting some type of sandbox in the, in the cloud provider that as part of this training so yes the idea with these labs um is actually we are going to partner uh, and we are partnering with d cloud to help us deliver these labs. And the reason we decided to go with dCloud is because they have just an amazing backend infrastructure to automate and simplify the connectivity to all the different cloud providers that we need. So 
this is what the topology ends up looking like. And this is this is the point we're at now. It could change, right? We could add something if, if we need to, but this is what it's looking like right now. So we'll have a data center, we'll have some branch offices. Some of them will be deployed as SD-WAN. Some of them will be deployed as just legacy autonomous, you know, um, uh, Catalyst 8000 V devices. This is all virtualized. So each student gets their own pod. It's always on. So there's no spin up time. They just jump right in. Um, for those of you that are familiar with the deep cloud, kind of always on or, or instant demos, it's kind of based on that model. And then what they do that's amazing is, is as I said, all the automation so that you know the student gets an Amazon account or a Microsoft Azure account or a GCP account or an umbrella account. And then all the teardown that happens when we're, they're done with the lab as well. So this is for real, and this is the you know what we're what we're looking at for the for the lab environment. You guys solved it. <laughs> Listen, um, amazing. We, che this is, uh, we cheated a little bit. Yeah. I'm, I, I don't, I'm not saying this in a funny way. It's just um, before we before the blueprint came out for ENCC last year, we came out with a three day SD WAN course. The acronym is SDW SCS, and we partnered with D Cloud for that one as well. We and love our was, acronyms. I know, <laughs> no kidding, right? Um, it's SD WAN Security and Cloud Services, basically, and it was. It was in response to a lot of people saying, you know, I, I need more practice with all the security stuff that SD-WAN does, and I need more practice on deploying, you know, AWS and Umbrella and Office 365. And so we created that three-day course, and we partnered with dCloud for that. And so that worked so well that we just lifted that, and we're going to use the same model again for this, this lab environment. And it yeah, definitely makes cool. it easier on the learner, right? Like, especially if somebody's after the certification, not just learning sure. the content, they can put it one to one yeah. where they're reading the blueprint and they're seeing yeah. the training that they're getting in Cisco U. So I think it's yeah. phenomenal that you guys do this. Well, and I think the best thing about this, and I think I mentioned this when we talked about these courses with PARS, for, for these types of topics, it's really, really hard to find all the material that you need to know to consolidate and really understand from on-premises to cloud services, how we connect these things. And and you yeah. guys have, I mean, we, we, we've put it all together here. And I mean, I would be hard pressed to find another course and another uh, certification that hits this exact uh, topic space. So, um, you know, Kareem, you and I have talked about these kinds of topics for years. Um, and we've never been able to put it all together into one no. consolidated space. So it's really exciting to see an exam um, and course material in support of the exam that are really going to hit this. I think uh, this is one of the best things that we've put out there. Yeah, I'm super excited about this. But, uh, and, you know, unfortunately, that's all the time we got right now. <clears throat> Patrick, we got to bring you back uh, in November <laughs> time frame. Once this yes. goes live, because we actually so would, like demo to, it. <laughs> would like to see what's on Cisco U. Um, I, I know yeah. I'm going to be one of the first users to get in there and, and take this, <laughs> uh, this, this training. Um, but Snackers, if you want to get a head start on some of the content that, you know, touches on this um, exam and certification, head over to u.cisco.com. We have a bunch of cloud uh, content from AWS, yeah. from GCP, from Azure, um, that are part of our Skillsoft package. That's uh, the partnership that we have in Cisco U. So head over there and, and get, get a head start on some of that content. Um, and, uh, you know, thank you for watching us today. Uh, Patrick, it's always a pleasure to have you. Thank you, Stackers. Cheers, yeah, thanks, thanks Stackers. Thanks, 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 thanks for having me. Appreciate it.